Hi, welcome. My name is Danny, and today I'm going to make a collage. And while I do, I'm going to think about and talk to you about the idea of balance and what that means to me visually as an artist, um, as well as um, energetically, figuratively, symbolically, as a human being existing in this world. So just uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the process. Oh, and if you've been enjoying the process with me on this channel, then I encourage you to please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and um, leave a comment. I'd love to start a conversation. So thank you so much, enjoy. So, as I'm thinking about balance, I thought I would choose materials that are blue and orange because blue and orange are my favorite complementary colors. So, if you can imagine a color wheel, blue and orange are opposite of each other. So, when they mix together, they create neutral colors more towards the center of the wheel like brown and different shades of black. So um, I feel like color complements to me are something I think about when I'm trying to create balance in my artwork. In my collage, I, I won't be able to mix the colors, but they will be juxtaposed or um, sitting side by side. And I think that they balance each other even if they're just both present in the color scheme of an image and not necessarily mixed together. So anyway, here's a brief little tour of all the bits and pieces I selected. It's a lot of previous paintings and drawings and, and prints. Um, some other random papers in there. When I'm thinking about creating a piece that feels balanced, I'm not only considering the color, I'm also considering the shapes and the placement of those shapes. What I love about my process is that balance does not equal symmetry. Symmetry is great for creating perfect patterns, kind of like the pattern you see in this beautifully ornate tissue paper I'm using. But balance does not require perfect symmetry. I think of a dancer or, or a yogi standing in a balancing pose. 
you know, their leg might be suspended on one side of their body while their upper body acts as a counterbalance leaning in another direction. And while the shape of their body is asymmetrical or, or not exactly the same on both sides, um, they're still able to maintain a connection to their core and balance. Asymmetry is interesting to us as people because it's surprising. It disrupts the patterns that we may normally expect. I guess in that sense, life can be pretty asymmetrical. <laughs> oh, patterns always being disrupted. You know, we don't spend the same amount of time doing every little thing that we do. But I guess to find balance, we try to spend the same or similar amounts of time doing the same kinds of things. I don't know. I guess if I were just to describe my life in regards to balance or metaphorically and my artwork, I, I could not say that my life is a collage <laughs> as that's you know that metaphor would not work because I think of a collage as um, I'm thinking of the finished product the f the piece the um, the end point I think I would have to say that my life is more like the process. It's an act, a balancing act. It happens in time and is never complete. You know, one piece is added here, another over there, and all their, them are unique in color and texture, shape, size. And the process is guided partially by knowledge, experience, the ability to project or have foresight, but um, it's partially by a feeling or an intuition. <laughs> oh, I know, baby girl, my goodness. Just always stopping by to see what's going on. <laughs> I mentioned in uh, my introduction to this series, it's a video called Values. Um, I mentioned that... Uh, well, in this series, I'm exploring my values through the lens of mixed media. And um, I mentioned in that video that my values are actually what allow me to activate my core and restore balance in my life. So it's like balance itself is one of my values. I value balance and um, I respect it in other people and um, you know it's very important to me but <laughs> all my other values you know it's it's when if I if I stray away from my values at some point, then I tend to feel less balanced. And so 
remembering what my values are and returning to them and aligning with them and sort of um, reminding myself what they are. It helps me to um, feel more aligned and balanced. So, you know, just it calms my nervous system and it allows me to feel aligned and at peace. Hmm. So, yeah, maybe much of my time is spent teetering from one side to the other, whether I'm trying to create work-life balance and alignment between my life and my creative practice or simply teetering between my thoughts and ruminations or you know just and being present with my thoughts and my surroundings in a non-judgmental way Regardless of all the teetering I might do, I do experience those brief and blissful moments of, of stillness and balance. So this is the color yellow, which is not quite orange. There's a little bit of orange in there, but um, yellow is sort of like, um, well, it's next to orange in the color wheel. It's, uh, I think it's what they call an analogous color. So blue and yellow because um, yellow is kind of like orange it helps to it is a part of orange and it is far from blue it's not directly across from blue but it is definitely across the pond across the wheel you could say I also um, I like to create balance in my pieces not just um, with the color, but like how busy it is. And, and, uh, I think that this piece actually is kind of busy, but everything is sort of like, um, kind of like a planet almost, you know, everything is gravitating towards the middle and all of the parts towards the center are thicker and have more gravity to them, pulling these lighter pieces towards the center. But with the colors, you know, I've got yellow across, yellow pieces across from each other and orange pieces across from each other, blue pieces across from each other, thinner pieces towards the outside, thicker. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. 
Wow. It's just got it's like these little tiny scraps. Still hold a bit of magic, I do believe that. Balancing out these tiny pieces from each other, having two sections as opposed to just one. And there she is, coming to give her two cents. What do you think? Am I done? Are we finished? <laughs> Well, I feel like this is a good place to end with this collage. It is actually somewhat symmetrical, but in a very loose way. The shapes and the colors are definitely in conversation with each other, opposing each other in ways that balance the composition. So thank you for hanging out and enjoying this process with me. If you have any thoughts you'd like to share on this video, then please leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please like this video and be sure to subscribe. You won't miss a thing. So have a great day and I'll see you next time.